Hello everyone. In this video, I will be covering one of the SQL interview question that is recently asked in a Movet interview. Given as a two input tables, table A, table B, with the columns, employee ID, employee name, and salary. If you look into the expected output, we need to write a SQL query to get the result from a combination of our two input tables. We have a employee ID one, which is available one time, so that will get in the output. But if you look into employee ID two, which is available two times, one record in table A, another record in table B. So if we have an employee ID available more than one time, we need to take a record with the lowest salary. So if you take an employee ID two with a salary of 400 and 300 out of these two records, uh, 300 salary is the lesser one. So that will get in the output. Similarly, for employee ID three, only one record is available. So we'll get that record in the output. So that is the expected output. So let's look into the SQL query, how we can get the expected output. We have both the tables available here, table A, table B uh, with the, all the records. Table A contains uh, two records and table B contains uh, two records. Uh, if I want to get the result in a single output by using a union, I will combine these two tables and I will get a result in a single output. So I will be using here union and let's execute it. Now we can see we got an output with all the result, with all the records in a single output. Uh, but uh, ID two is available two times. We need to take only a record with the lowest salary that is a 300. There are n number of ways uh, to achieve this. Uh, the way I will be using is like, uh, maybe I will be using a group by minimum salary. So it will give only the uh, 300 one, the record with the 300 salary. So maybe I will be taking this as a view. On top of view, I will be finding out a group by minimum salary. Okay, so now if I execute the view, I got this output. On top of this, I will be performing a group by, maybe I will be giving a group by employee ID, employee name. Okay, same, same column names we need to give in the select statement. On top of this, we'll be using a aggregation minimum. Okay, so it will do a grouping of employee ID, employee name. So employee ID 1, A, 1000 rupees salary, it will get to only one time. But employee ID 2 is available two times. When you try to find out aggregation of minimum, we'll get a 300. Employee ID 3 is available only one time. Obviously, we'll get a salary 100 itself. Okay, so in this way, we can do achieve it. Let's execute the query. Okay, so this is the expected output. In this way, by using a group by employee ID name and uh, based on the aggregation, we can easily achieve this. This is the one of the way. The other way is we can also use a row number function. By using a row number function, we can generate a row number first, and then we can filter out a row number based on row number we have generated. Okay, let's also try that. I will remove all these things. Okay. Yeah. So on top of this, what I do is on top of the union query, I'm going to generate a row number. Okay, so row number based on employee ID. Okay, so we need to find out an employee ID by uh, minimum salary. So we'll be generating a, uh, a partition by employee ID based on employee ID. And I will be giving a new column name as a R num, that is a row number. Okay, so from this result set. And I will be giving this uh, result set a name here as a. Let's execute this query. Now you can see on top of this result, we are generating a row number. So it generates a row number based on a employee ID. So employee ID one time available. So it will give one row number one. Employee ID is to add available two times. It will generate a sequence of numbers. One, two, based on a order ID, uh, based on an employee ID uh, ascending order. And we have an employee ID three. So after we generating a row number, maybe we can filter out only records with the row number one, and we can uh, eliminate the duplicate record which is having a more than one time. Okay. So what we can do, maybe I, on top of this, we can also write a subquery. 
or we can convert into a view like let us say view okay starting from here and ending here and then we can write a filter query select star from cte where row number is uh, less than or equal to one so that one uh, all the one all the records with one will get an output but uh, row, row number with the two will be filtered out okay so this is also one of the way so any one of the method we can use to get the expected outputs okay thanks for watching the video please like the video and subscribe to the channel